Hello. Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers for Microsoft Excel 2003 for Windows. In today's lesson, we're going to explore the options that accompany the autofill feature in Excel. We'll explore the options for autofilling dates, numbers, formats, and formulas. Most people are familiar with autofill. The autofill feature enables us to complete certain series that Excel has built in for months of the year or days of the week. However, many of us fail to look at the options that accompany the autofill feature. Let's use Control Z to undo these last two autofills. When we autofill down, we always start in the lower right corner of the cell and drag the cursor down, either horizontal, uh, vertically down, horizontally across, vertically up in a column, or horizontally across in a row. Let's do Control Z to get rid of that. Control Z will go back and undo our last uh, actions. Let's look over here on days of the week. When we autofill down, if I only want to include work days, in other words, Monday through Friday, to eliminate the Saturday and Sunday, that's one of my options in autofill. Autofill, and I can choose fill the weekdays only. Let's take a look at it over here. Let's move this down. And if I choose to get rid of my Saturday and Sunday, watch these two cells as I choose my fill weekdays only. There you go. We got rid of the Saturday and Sunday. Let's take a look at some things that we can do with dates. Here's today's date. And as we move this down, I could explore options to copy the cell. If I want to make an exact copy rather than fill a series, I can do that. Let's take a look over here. And if I wanted to just fill uh, it as a month or fill it, fill it as the year, there we go. There's another option that we have in there. Let's take a look at numbers. When we fill a number, auto fill down, the default is it makes a copy. If I want to fill a series, it is incrementing it by one. So coming over here, if I want to choose an option, and I choose fill the series, you see it actually filled it just by one copy. What I really wanted in there was I wanted to increase by a different increment. This is what I wanted. I wanted to see 5, 10, 15, 20. In other words, increase the previous cell in the column by a factor of 5. Well, here's how we do it. First off, we have to actually fill in the series. We have to let Excel know what our increment is. So in this case, to increase the cells by 5. Then, prior to doing our auto fill, select both of those series that indicate the increments that we want. And now, when we fill it down, there's our increment. So if I wanted it to increase by 10, in other words, 5, 15, 25, we first give Excel the indication of the increment that we want and then highlight both cells that indicate the increment and drag down. So there we have it, 5, 15, 25, 35. We increase by uh, 10 in each one. In this case, let's just say that I wanted to increase by um, 25s. So I give Excel the head start. I have two cells there that indicate the increment and then when I drag it down there's my increment. Okay, let's move over here to formats. In this case I have a special format set up in cell A1. When I auto fill down one of my options is to fill the formatting only. So in this case the text, sample text, remained in place. I only copied down the formatting. Let's try it over here where I have wrapped the contents of the cell. When I auto fill down and I choose uh, fill formatting only, there it is. Let's take a look over here where we have in E1 we have applied some special formatting and when I look at my options to fill the formatting only, we can do that. If I wanted to fill it without formatting, then it makes a copy of the text, but no formatting.
So explore those options. OK, let's move over to our last tab. In this instance, we have a formula created over here to establish the running uh, total for our uh, daily sales. Now, normally we just auto fill down, but if this was a series, let's say, of a thousand records, that, that's a lot of work. Here's a very easy way to auto fill. When we have a formula created that is adjacent to a series of numbers just come over here as though we were going to autofill but quickly double click the autofill corner watch this there you go it fills the complete column all right those are our tips for today explore the options in autofill save yourself some time we'll see you in the next lesson thank you